Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the embryology section, this is the another topic which is fate of paramesonephric ducts. So till then, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to it and share this video to others also. So the fate of paramesonephric ducts. So the paramesonephric ducts, they are basically present in intermediate mesoderm. So they are shown in the red color. These are the paramesonephric ducts and these are black colored are mesonephric ducts. So the paramesonephric ducts, they form many structures. So the first structure is uterus. So what happens is that this the paramesonephric ducts fuse so these are the fused paramesonephric ducts this is fused paramesonephric ducts and this is the unfused part of the paramesonephric duct so the unfused parts of paramesonephric duct they form the uterine tube they form the uterine tube and then original points of invagination of ducts into the silomic epithelium remain as abdominal openings of the tubes and fimbriae are formed. Then the uterus. The epithelium of the uterus is formed from the fused paramesonephric ducts. So these are the fused paramesonephric ducts. They form the epithelium of the uterus. And as the thickness of the myometrium increases, the unfused horizontal parts of the two paramesonephric ducts they come to be partially embedded within this substance and this forms the fundus of the uterus. This forms the fundus of the uterus. <coughs> now, the other structures, so these are the, this is the urogenital sinus, which you are seeing. This is the urogenital sinus. This forms the vagina and the mesonephric ducts in the females they regress so the mesonephric ducts in the females they are regressing regressing mesonephric ducts and so basically mainly the genital structures or the internal reproductive structures of the females are formed from the paramesonephric ducts while in the males the mainly reproductive structures are formed from the mesonephric ducts so this completes the fate of paramesonephric ducts. So if we want to study the vagina, then we can see that uh, the endodermal cells of urogenital sinus, they proliferate to form two swellings called as sinovaginal bulbs and they fuse to form one mass. Then most of the vaginal plate is formed from sinovaginal bulb. So this completes the uh, fate of paramesonephric duct in females. In males, the paramesonephric duct they remain rudimentary, and greater part of each duct they it disappears. Then the cranial end of each duct persists as a small rounded body attached to the testis, which is appendix of the testis. So this was the fate of paramesonephric ducts in females and the males. So thank you everyone. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.